I'm not sure we will, but we're going to try. Let's race it on Elebois! Freddie Slater cuts straight across to hold the inside line and into the first corner. Cracking start from Kirill Kutskov. He's into second past Alex Powell. There's a spin further back. Two or three carts have come off there, but out in front it is Slater from Kutskov and Powell. And we've got two or three carts piling up behind them. My goodness! One cart actually vaulting over the top of another. And there's several carts in the mix, my goodness. So we've got several carts stationary up at turn two. And that is not a great position for many of the field to be in. Look at that. We've got Adam Hideg in there. We've got the 248 in there. Full course yellow. Zachary David is in the mix there as well. Yes, full course yellows around the course. I thought it would be. But what a dramatic start. And that has taken so many carts out of contention. Zach David, Adam Hideg, Josh Irvin, Jan Pizarovsky, and Harley Keeble all wiped out in one fell swoop. What a disaster for the five of them. Yeah, and it seems as soon as the full course yellow came out, the marshals weren't all at their posts, obviously. They were trying to clear up the incident, so the drivers were still racing for quite a while. We actually see a green flag being waved by one of the marshals. So obviously a miscommunication right there. So as we see the drivers go round the corner now, you could see some hand signals being given out by one of the drivers to uh, the collision that we saw going round. It's full course yellow, the green flag still being waved, now it's being changed to a yellow. So uh, a bit of a difficulty there as the drivers continue on their way through. But the racing is going to be very interesting once we get started just as well. Everybody managed to get through. Freddie Slater out in first position from Kutskov and Powell. Then it's McIntyre in fourth place. Uh, Matthias Ferreira, the Brazilian, in fifth in front of Thomas Stolchamadis and Arthur Poulain. And then we've got Lucas Samalisto. <laughs> Look at the wreckage as everybody in that mix is now being cleared away. Six drivers wiped out in the first start. Zach David, Adam Hideg, Josh Erfan, Jan Pizorowski, Enzo Deligny and Harley Keeble. What a disaster. Yeah, it's a shame to see so many good drivers out of the race already, but it's an interesting order. We see Slater, Kuskoff, Powell, McIntyre, Ferreira is the top five right now. Five very quick drivers, all capable of taking the win. And I'm sure as we go green, maybe it might actually be next time round that we go green. Hopefully it's next time round. It's going to be interesting to see how these driver, drivers cope with the challenge. So who's benefited from that full course yellow and that uh, start line incident? Well, I can tell you for a start, that the drivers that have made the most gains. Uh, August Thurbo has made up 14 places. So August Thurbo is now up into 22nd. Teodor Odmark has made up a dozen places. He's in 23rd. And in 24th place is Jan Puchu, who's come from the penultimate row of the grid uh, in 34th place onto P10. So it looks as though we're about to go full course green again. And Freddie Slater, look, has just launched forward. He's made an amazing restart. He has launched it into the lead of the race. He knows that they're going to be green flags. So an absolute belter for Freddie Slater as they come through. Green, green, green. And he has got an amazing advantage. Perhaps he went a little too early. Slater, an outstanding start in comparison to everyone else. Seems like he's put his foot down whilst no one else was ready. No one else was expecting it. Freddie Slater into the lead by seven tenths over Kutzkoff. Kutzkoff in second. He's got Powell breathing down his neck. So Alex Powell is trying to make himself the first Jamaican, but not the first Caribbean ever to be on an FAA Kartik podium. That was, of course, Zane Maloney a few seasons ago. And now let's see what Alex Powell can do as he hustles in behind Kirill Kutzkov. They come up the crest, and Kutzkov in second position is having a terrific weekend. He's now under massive pressure from Alex Powell. The battle for fourth has begun. Ferreira has got into P4 in front of McIntyre. Then Stolchamadis, Poulain, Popov, Sorensen, Samalisto, Rashid Aldeheri and Tigran Bonatian in front of James Egozzi and Dion Gauda. Then Maxim Rem, Ian Eichmanns and Adrian Maliero. It is a great start as we go into lap five here at Onel -le Bois. Slater leading by nearly a second now. That oh. pace is outstanding. Who's that going slow? That's the 2 5 twos off. Samalisto's connected with Rem. So Samalisto and Rem that were battling for position. Samalisto is off of the final turn. Rem is trying to get going. But I think the cart is crawling to a stop at turn one. So Maxim Rem is going to be out. What a disaster what for the shame. German driver. Maxim Rem out of the race even before it really got started. Rem unfortunately out of the race. You can see the car getting dragged away. Alex Powell still sitting on the back of Kutzkoff. The 256 demanding that second position at the moment. Powell not far behind, but neither is Ferreira and McIntyre. We've seen these guys switching positions pretty much every lap. Ferreira, he was taking the battle to Slater earlier, but he's not right now. What a start from Freddie Slater, bolting out of the blocks, and he's almost got a second on Kutzkov and Powell already. 
as the battle rages further back. Drivers starting to make impressions. Stoljamanis making a bid on McIntyre at the top of the hill. Side by side, McIntyre drops the wheel on the grass. And now around the outside comes uh, Otto Boulain and Max Popov. They both get past McIntyre. So just one wheel on the grass. That's all it takes. Yeah, McIntyre getting squeezed out the cor corner. That means Poulain and Popov were able to slip through. McIntyre, I'm sure he won't be happy about that. He'll be fighting back as good as he can. He'll be trying to make back those positions as soon as possible. Freddie Slater still leading by a second, though. He's took that start and he's took it under his wing as he's managed to capitalise on it. Cuts off then, Powell. This is where Freddie Slater loves to be, at the head of the field with nothing to worry about at the moment. On lap 7 of 21, we're almost at the one-third distance mark. And Kutzkov has got Alex Powell to deal with. And Powell is definitely creating a bit of a threat for him at the moment. Matthias Ferreira trying to catch them with the fastest lap of the race. A 48-158. And that was a nice move at the top of the hill from Rashid al -Dahiri. He gets back up the inside and makes a manoeuvre. So Rashid al to 11th place. And James Igotzi having problems. So James Igotzi runs out wide. I think he's lost several places there. But the American trying to fight his way forward. He was up in the top 10 at one stage. I'm not sure whether he's still there or not. But certainly he has lost some ground there James Agotti in fact no he has fallen behind Rashid al Dahiri and Kai Sorensen in ninth and 10th and we are watching them on your screen so Rashid al Dahiri in ninth place in front of Kai Sorensen great run this from the Emirati as he fights his way back into contention up to P9 I'll tell you what Powell and Kutzkoff they're gonna have to keep an eye out behind them because who's arrived on the back it's now Ferreira Ferreira charging through the field as he now arrives onto the back of Powell and Kutzkoff it won't be long before he's looking for an overtake talking about overtakes that's a move from the 262 that's a beautiful overtake from that's Kavalkin I think isn't it yeah that looks yes, like Kavalkin, Kavalkin there yeah. sorry yeah, Kavalkin makes that overtake, he makes it stick and he'll run away with it now. But it does look like Ferreira, four temps off the back of Powell now. This is going to get close, talking about close. Kutzkoff, only six temps behind Slater now. Yeah, I think they're working together. They've realised that Slater's obviously got good speed, so they now need to join forces and get after Slater. They've got to be a little bit of a unity at the moment and a bit of a conglomerate as they run round the course. So Kutzkoff and Powell teaming up. They're not making overtakes. Ferreira is edging towards Powell now as well. So we are about to get a bit of a battle royale. Slater is not the dominant force anymore. He's still leading, but Kutzkoff and Powell are closing in from Matthias Ferreira. Then it is Thomas Stolchemanis from Arthur Poulain and Max Popov. Brilliant racing two weeks ago at Genk, and it looks like we're getting it all over again in the sunshine of Ole Le Bois. But Slater holds the nerve here. Half a second, he's pulling out a little bit more again to try and eke out away from Kutzkov. But Kutzkov is absolutely charging forward. We've seen him win heats. We've seen Powell win heats. We've not quite seen Matthias Ferreira win heats, but we know he's got the pace to do so. So this could be frenetic right the way to the checkered flag. Yeah, we see Slater pushing the car to the absolute limit, trying to pull away from the drivers, which are chasing down behind him. Him, talking about behind him you can see Ferreira all over the back of Powell now Ferreira up the inside of Powell Powell drops down to fourth Ferreira into third Ferreira on a brilliant charge right now the Car Republic chassis team is working amazing for them it is now a Ricky Flynn Motorsport then three Car Republics surely these guys work together to get one over Slater well absolutely strength in numbers is likely to be the format from here on in Kutzkov being caught by the Brazilian Matias Ferreira who is up to third position with some great race craft as he gets past Alex Powell but they're playing the long game Freddie Slater is going to be a tough man to catch but with Kutzkov and Ferreira working together they've got a good chance now was Freddie Slater just preserving tyres there to back off a little bit because he's now picked up the pace once again. Stolchimanis, fifth. Poulain, sixth. Popov, seventh. McIntyre, eighth. From Aldeheri, Sorensen, Egotzi, Kavalkin, Eichmanns, Maliero, and Krapin. So they're still running very well in the mid pack. The drivers battling very close indeed as they continue to race for supremacy. Lots of drivers still trying to make overtaking moves. We're watching the battle for fifth place. This is Stolchimanis, Poulain, and Popov as James Egotzi in 11th place gets the fastest lap. And he's the first one to break into the 47s. So a 47.997 for the American. Yes, yeah, Slater obviously may have been conserving the tyres, but he also might have just been conserving his pace and uh, his driving. So obviously, with this 21-lap race, it's all about endurance. It's not a sprint anymore. It's not the nine laps, as we're 11 laps in. Slater starting to pull away again. Eight temps separating them. We see a battle in the mid-pack. Who's that losing out? That looks like that's a move from the 2-2-4. Two, two, Who's that making the move? As we see throughout the field, that looks like it's Fever. That's Dion the Gow it's Dion Gowder, I do believe. So uh, Dion Gowder having some problems there as he, he tries to uh, 
keep himself in the hunt with the likes of uh, Krapin, Chu, Gubenko, Nakamura Berta, Gladij and Bonatian. Uh, Jovan David is in that mix there as well. So a lot of drivers trying to fight their way forward. Matthias Ferreira closer than ever to Kutskov. And look at Slater, he's just dropped the hammer. He's opened up that gap to a second once again. So Slater maximizing the opportunity, just re reading himself in and then getting back on the power again. He's just trying to make a little bit more hay while the sun shines as we watch the midfield battle. And that is uh, from about 12th downwards, I think. We've got Kavalkin with a little bit of space and then you've got Eichmanns, Madiero, Diabo, Krapin, Chu, Kubenko, Nakamura, Berta, and Gladij, and then behind them, you have Bonatian, David, Bernier, Gauda, Matviv, Odmark, Bondarev, and Cadenas. So just the eight retirements we've already mentioned. The six that went off on lap one, that's Kibel, Deligny, Pozorowski, Erfan, Hideg, and David. And then we have Lucas Samalisto and Maxim Rem, who got into an incident on the first lap under greens on the restart. But Slater is extending the gap. Yeah, Ferreira's pace is outstanding right now. He's all over the back of Kutzkoff. Kutzkoff obviously still being the leading car at Car Republic right now. The question is, will Ferreira work together? Will he push his teammate or will he go for the overtake? Obviously, oh, the position will be really important for Ferreira. He's obviously the quicker Car Republic as he's arrived onto the back of these drivers just based off pure speed. Ferreira, you can see basically on the back of Kutzkoff, not quite close enough to make an overtake, but Alex Powell, he's now on the back of him. So now the three Kart Republics can work together as they try and get that gap down. This is where they could make the difference as Ian Eichmanns, by the way, makes his move further back on Anatoly Kavalkin. So he gets up into 12th position, passing the Russian. But Slater is one second clear. What he doesn't have, though, is support. And these three drivers behind will work in unison. Kutzko, Ferreira and Powell, they know each other well. They work in each other's awning and they will operate as a unit together to try and toe the line. Look at the ferocity from the mechanics. Come on, come on, you've got to get after Slater. He is catchable, he is beatable, but we've got to work as a team. Now, is Ferreira going to get the move on Kutzkov? Because at the moment, there's only a second between, but it's a consistent, steady second. Will Ferreira feel we've got a better chance of catching him if I'm the leading cart in the trio, Kirill? You've got to get out of the way and let me go for it. I'm the one who's come closest to beating Freddie Slater in a straight fight. So you've got to let me take the lead. You've got to let me go for the move. Yeah, you can see Matias Ferreira, as soon as he's arrived onto the back of, his, uh, back of this pack, his pace has dropped quite considerably. As you can see, Ferreira still behind Kutzkoff. But yes, obviously, two cars is quicker than one, but only if they have the right pace to catch Slater. The gap still extending, even though they're working together. Slater pulling a 1.2 second gap. Ferreira, his only best chance is getting past Kutzkoff and getting on with the race. If Freddie Slater wins this race, he will take an incredible tally of 69 points in the championship out of a possible 70, which is absolutely astonishing. And that will be almost double the points of the nearest competitor in the title fight. And that is Alex Powell. So Slater just doing what he needs to do at the front end of the field. Eichmann's with the new fastest lap within 10 seconds of the leader. But the fastest lap of the race, a 47.965. Is Ferreira going to make the move on the inside of Kutzkov? It might be the only chance. Kutzkov is holding his line. He might need to go rogue here, Ferreira, as he tries to get the switchback maneuver on Kutzkov. He can see that they're still losing time to Slater. He's going to have to think about his own race now. He can't think about the man in front as a support mechanism. He's got to try and overtake him in the hunt to go over Slater. Otherwise, he's going to run out of time. They've only got five laps to go, and Ferreira needs to think about second place now. No longer the victory, because that is only there's only one way to get there. He's got to hope that he can catch Slater, and the only way to do that, it seems, is to get past Kutzkop. Matthias Ferreira with a warning flag. Now, what wow. is that for? I didn't see anything untoward. Yeah, we've been watching Matthias Ferreira. It doesn't look like track limits. He hasn't been going off anywhere, and he hasn't made any malicious moves. So what happened there? Obviously, something that the stewards aren't happy with. There's a warning flag went out to Ferreira. As you said, the 225, it confirmed on the digiboard. You can see that is a warning going out to Ferreira there. Don't exactly know what's happened there, but with the gap extending to Slater, Ferreira has to go on something for Kutzkoff and watch out for Stolchimanes. He's arriving on the back of Powell. Yes, yeah, Stolchimanes has been working very carefully to get onto the tail of Alex Powell and he's there, the Latvian now in fifth position. There's a good chance for him to snatch a podium and watch out for the man behind as well, Max Popov. He's catching up to them as well. This is what happens when you are stuck in the train and you can't go forward, you can't go back. 
Kutskov is still working hard here in second place to try and close up to Slater. The gap comes back down to just a whisker over a second, but Ferreira needs to forget about his teammate. He needs to make the move for second place because that's where he's going to get his chance to get more points in the championship. There is no team orders in this sport at all. You've just got to keep pushing and hope that this is your moment. Up and over the top of the crest. And this is Kutskov in second place from Ferreira in third. Powell in fourth. Stolchimanis in fifth. And not too far away, Max Popov in sixth. This Ferreira going to get his run up towards turn four. He's got to think about it. It's too late and too far back to make that switch past Kutskov. He's got to now go downhill and try again. Yep, so Ferreira basically pushing Kutskov. They are working together. Oh, and talking about working together, it's scrapped in a moment as Ferreira, as he switches position with Kutskov. Kutskov now the, uh, the Kart Republic in second position. Powell was now on the back of this. You can see Kutskov, he is raring and hungry for that position back. Spectacular overtake from Matthias Ferreira. Brilliant momentum, nailed him in the right part of the apex and has held on for second place. Now it's up to Alex Powell and Thomas Stolchimanis to go in there for Kirill Kutskov. Is Kutskov going to be able to hold on to third position or will he make an eventual attack back on second place? Slater with a big move. Powell is actually having to go defensive to fend off from Thomas Stolchimanis. So this is a fabulous little scrap. Powell knows that Stolchimanis is there. Stolchimanis gestures to Powell. We need to go after the guys in front. He decides to make the overtake. So Stolchimanis threw into fourth position on Powell. Look, we've got a lap and a half to catch these guys. If we want the podium, we need to team up. And there's Max Popov. He wants to get the maneuver as well. Popov desperately trying to get through on Powell, but he can't make the overtake stick. So now it's all about Ferreira and Kutskov chasing down Freddy Slater with just over a lap to go. Slater has checked out from this pack. 1.3 seconds separating the driver in P2 and Freddy Slater in the lead. Ferreira taking that gap down little by little, but it's a little bit too late for the Car Republic team to be catching onto this driver and that does look like Max Popov has made a move on Alex Powell. He Popov has. is past Powell, Popov into fifth, Stolchimanes in fourth and Powell down to sixth. Indeed he has and that's going to affect his position in the championship I think. It could be Ferreira who takes over second place in the driver's championship but here comes the man. He's been undefeated all weekend. Pole position, win in all five heats and now he comes through. What a result, what a performance. He's undefeated Defeated in SA, Freddy Slater wins in Honor Le Amazing drive there from Slater to take the win. Ferreira charging through the field to pick up second. Could scoff in third. It's a 2 3 for Car Republic. Soljimanes, it's a last minute drive from him to pick up fourth. You can see Slater signaling good race to the rest of the drivers. Popov and uh, Stolchimanis managing to uh, just pip Alex Powell, who unfortunately dropped down to sixth position at the end of that race. There are not many drivers in the history of FIA karting who have been pole position in qualifying, led every single lap of every single heat, and then go on to lead every single lap of the final and win it. It's absolute crushing domination for Freddie Slater, the likes of which you don't see every day that is absolutely magnificent from Freddie Slater. He didn't just win, he tore that race apart. Masterca masterclass there from Slater makes his way into the pit for a well-deserved win. Drove amazingly all weekend pole position, 105 of the heat and dominates from start to finish in the final. So here's your provisional result. Freddie Slater in front of Matthias Ferreira and Kirill Kutskov, three different nations in the podium. Thomas Stolchimanis and Max Popov from Alex Powell and Arto Poulain. Rashid Aldeheri and James Zagotzi. Ian Eichmanns rounds out the top 10. Kai Sorensen and Anatoly Kivalkin from Will McIntyre and August Thurbo. Konstantin Krapin, Kian Nakamura Berta. 17th is Adrian Mariero in front of Augustin Bernier. Then behind is Alexander Gubenko from Yvan David and Jan Puchu. Alexander Bondarev and Tigran Bonatian. Maciej Gladij and Andres Cardenas from Dmitry Madviv. Dion Gauda and Theodor Odmark. The retirements, Maxim Raymond and Lucas Samalisto had their moment on the race restart.